Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to start this practice in a seated position. This is going to be a beautiful, stretchy warm up flow. So go ahead and meet me on your mat in your most beautiful seated position. If you would like to grab a block to prop under your sits bones, go ahead and grab it now. Just coming into our easy seat. Once we get here, take a note of what's on the ground right now. The feet, the booty. Then we're gonna roll those shoulder blades down the back body. Grow that crown nice and tall. Close the eyes down if you'd like. Just gonna drop in and notice what's going on right now. How do you feel? Feelings in the body. How about the mind? Is it racy today or have we gotten some control? Big inhales here through the nose and nice exhales through the nose. Maybe a slight restriction in the back of the mouth creating our ujjayi breath. Pretending we are at the ocean today. It's negative degrees outside, very unfriendly out there today. So we're gonna invite all the warmth in. Gonna take one more round of breath here. And go ahead and butterfly those eyes open if you had them closed. We're going to inhale the arms up and overhead. Let's go ahead and exhale them down through heart center. Beautiful. Do it one more time. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down through heart center. Let's get our side body. So left hand plants, right hand up and overhead. And we're going to dance it today. So let's go ahead. Right hand plants, left hand goes up and over. Now that we've done the first ones, let's go ahead and go side to side here, matching up that breath with the movement. So the inhales lift us up, and then the exhales allow us to stretch. Inhale, we go back to the other side. Oh, yeah. One more time on both sides here. Beautiful. Once you're done, we're gonna inhale those arms up. We're gonna open up this twist to the right. So left hand comes to that right knee. Right hand is behind us. The inhales allow us to lengthen and the exhales take us deeper into our twist. Breathing here. Inhale, arms up, back to center. Open up to the left. So right hand comes to the left knee, left hand behind us. And on an inhale, we take the arms up, back to center. And exhale, we're gonna walk the hands forward here. Just come in as far forward until you feel that in the hips. And then we stop. And if it feels good, you can kind of take a little rock forwards and backwards. Little rock. Just stretching in through those hips here. Beautiful. Slowly we'll walk the hands up. We're going to inhale those arms up and overhead. Go ahead and take this right hand down the small of the back. Left hand catches right elbow. Beautiful. Both arms back up. And now the left hand comes to the small of the back. Right hand on left elbow.
Beautiful, both hands back up. And let's exhale them down, heart center. Beautiful. Let's come on over into our all fours position, our tabletop. Once you get here, we're gonna go ahead and cat cow it out, getting the spine nice and warmed up here. So inhale, we lift the chest, gaze goes up. Exhale, we round, spine rounds, gaze goes towards the feet. Let's do this a few times, matching up that breath with the movement. We're gonna do one more round here. And we'll all meet in our neutral tabletop here. We're gonna take some bird dog. So left leg kicks out, right arm goes out forward, engaging that core. Our Uddiyana Banda here, drawing that belly button to the spine will help that action. Breathe, knee to elbow for one, extend, two, extend, three, extend, four, extend, five. Hold and squeeze it here and release. Beautiful. Let's go and send the right, left arm out, right leg kicks back, bird dog. Finding that alignment, activating that core. And knee to elbow for one, extend, two, extend, three, extend, four, extend, and five. We're holding and we're pulling it all in, smiling, breathing and release. Very nice. <laughs> Go ahead and tuck the toes and send those hips back. Just a little toe stretch here. And let's go take some wrist circles one way. Go ahead and take the circles the other way. Beautiful. Shake them out. And let's shake up and down. So normally we shake side to side. Challenge you this time, shake up and down. It's gonna give your wrist a different effect. Still shaking at the same consistency and speed as the other way. Just a little different. Beautiful. Come on back. And now we're releasing those toes, sitting back on our feet and maybe countering that stretch we just did in the feet. Should feel amazing. And we're gonna walk the hands forward, coming into a plank. So tucking the toes, sending the hips up, pushing through the shoulders here. Big inhale and exhale here. You're gonna hop up to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift, nice long lengthened spine, shoulders are away from the ears. Exhale, we fold. Taking your hands, putting them under your feet, if you like that, to give your wrist a little massage with the toes. A nice bend in the knees is always a welcome here, and you can always straighten one and bend the other, trying to work into our hamstrings here. Taking a few more rounds of breath here. Go ahead and come up halfway lift again. Exhale, fold. We're gonna root to rise, so peeling up. Head and neck are gonna come last. Rolling those shoulder blades down the back body, palms face forward, Tadasana. 
big smiles on faces here, you marvelous yogis and yoginis. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Slice through the sky, forward fold. Half lift. Plant the hands, step the feet back. Lower down the knees, the chest and the chin. Roll forward into our cobra. Everybody's going to meet in our first down dog. So pushing up, tucking the toes and sending the hips back and up. Go ahead and pedal the feet here. Getting that stretch into them hamstrings again. And when it feels good, right leg sweeps up, three leg dog. Go ahead and take some hip circles here. You can bend the leg or you can keep it straight if you'd like. We'll reverse that circle and release it back down and left leg will sweep up three leg dog and let's take those hip circles on this side bent leg or straight it doesn't matter and let's reverse the circle we'll come back to our down dog Oh yeah, inhale, right leg up again. Roll it forward and step it in between the hands. On an inhale, we'll rise up, high lunge, hands overhead. Breathing, now holding and clenching the breath here. Really feeling into that hip flexor on the left side. Framing this foot, stepping it back, plank. Let's vinyasa. If you want to do knees, chest, chin, be my guest. You can push forward and do chaturanga, up dog. Everybody meets, down dog. Oh, yeah. A little shake out there. Left leg sweeps up, three leg dog. Roll it forward, step it in between the hands. And on an inhale, we'll rise up, high lunge, arms up and overhead. Big smiles on your faces. Feeling into that right hip flexor now. <sighs> Tucking that tailbone will definitely make it more obvious that that's what we're doing. And we're breathing, we're not holding or clenching the breath. Beautiful, exhale, frame the foot, step it back, plank, take your vinyasa, whatever you did last time, and we'll all meet down dog. Beautiful, go ahead and hop, step, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, we fold. Root to rise, so pulling ourselves all the way up to standing. Rolling the shoulder blades back. Big smile on our faces. Inhale, arms up. Sit back into our chair here, making sure you can see those big toes. Maybe sinking the hips a little bit deeper here. Maybe a little deeper. Breathing. Come up on the tiptoes. Arms overhead, tuck the tailbone, smiles on faces. Exhale, we come to standing. Whew. Yeah, take your little shake out there. It should feel wonderful. Inhale, arms up. Come on up to those toes. Slowly we lower. How slow can we go here? How slow can we go? the control, the micro muscles. Here we go. And back up. Oh yeah, Whoop. it's okay if you come off those toes. Oh yeah, hands to our sides. Big breath here. Beautiful, inhale those arms up. 
Exhale, slice in through the sky. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step the feet back. Plank. Let's rock forwards and backwards here. Just a few times. And we're gonna come with these feet and we're gonna jump through and come to a seat. Go ahead and bring those feet to touch. Coming in for our cobbler here, you can take a little butterfly. And then we'll open up the feet like a book and try to come forward using these elbows against the knees to help deepen our stretch here. Trying to keep the gaze forward will help keep the spine nice and long. Beautiful. Slowly we'll come up, bringing the feet to the mat. We're going to slowly roll back to our backs. Once again, we we'll play the little game of how slow can you go here. The slow controlled movements really create muscles that are finite and little that we can't work on all the time. Oh yeah, and here we go. Landing down. Beautiful. We're just going to do a little bit of core work here. So you can bring your hands behind your head. Just breathe for a second, feeling that opening in the shoulders here. We're just going to do bicycles. So it's just a beautiful, nice little bit of core here. We're just going to do 20 of them. So left elbow, right knee, and then opposites and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Beautiful. Hug those legs. And let's go ahead and come for some shoelace. So we're going to wrap right around left and then try to grab those feet. If you can't, that's okay. We're just pulling them in as close to the body as we can get them. And then we breathe. Have three rounds of breath here. Slowly we'll release. This time left will come over right. Grab for those feet. <sighs> Noticing the difference here between the sides. Slowly we'll release here. Go ahead and send the left leg out long. Hug that right knee in. Pull it more towards your armpit, kind of like a half happy baby without the extension of the leg. Breathe. And we're going to take it all the way across the body. Come into that left hip, outer left hip. Right hand goes out long. Gaze goes towards that right hand. Both shoulders are firmly on the mat. Have this left hand on this right knee if that feels good. bring you back. Right leg goes out long. Now we're going to hug that left knee in towards the armpit here. So really open that hip up here. Pulling it into the chest. Towards the armpit though, not in the middle. And all the way across to the right side. Come into that outer right hip. Left hand goes out long. Both shoulders are on the mat. Maybe bringing this right hand to this left knee if that feels good for you.
and slowly rolling back we're going to take a short mini shavasana so you can bring your feet to the outside edges of the mat and allow the knees to drop in and you can take your arms out to the sides or you can bring it heart and belly settling in for just a minute allowing the body to absorb that energy that beautiful energetic energy And take a full body stretch here and we'll meet in a comfy seat how we started mm. go ahead and bring your hands at heart center mm -hmm. may you receive all the peace all the love and all the warmth from this practice Namaste. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope that this has warmed you up and energized you and got you ready. Have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat.